Thank you, Commissioner Woodward. I'm not as tall as you, so I'm not done. But I thank you so much, everyone, for listening to me and to my advocacy and to my undying passion to help students and job seekers with disabilities. It's a huge part of our population that is totally overseen. We started um, Archer Disability Foundation in 1999, so it wasn't with vocational rehabilitation. But that, that being said, um, we presented our first employment, disability employment awareness event in the city of Boca Raton, and then the following year we actually went into the mall. And um, Mayor Abrams at the time helped negotiate that. It's very interesting because our focus is on ESC transition students. I was a teen mom and that got this entire notion that people were not paying attention to this one population in the school district, and I was correct. So with that being said, Palm Beach County does have an amazing focus on ESC transition students, and that is special educators, job coaches, and they identify transition uh, work that could be done by some of these students. And the reason they call them transition students is because they're transitioning out of the high school, the school district, and into the community. And one of the biggest problems these children have, and their parents, is that they won't find employment and they're not going to integrate into the community. So they'll sit home and vegetate, possibly um, do some self-medicating, if you know where I'm going. And this is not what we want. We want them to be fulfilled in our community. And we want them to have opportunities. In 1990, Florida legislature established Able Trust in Tallahassee to serve as a direct support organization for Florida Division of Vocational Rehabilitation. And Archer Disability Foundation works in alliance with Able Trust and encourages students with disabilities and their parents to re register with vocational rehabilitation before they graduate. That's so imperative. It has to be done before they transition, not after the fact. I did the same thing with my son. I helped him get through vocational rehabilitation registration and work with a number of different um, people that actually take them. They call them customers, but I call them my son. And they actually get them to get into the workforce through the direction of a nonprofit organization. I actually went to Tallahassee and discussed with an ombudsman how I could be that particular nonprofit organization, and it worked for me. Just as my school, as my son and went through school, he actually graduated with a degree from school, uh, Palm Beach School District, and then went on to Palm Beach State College, and then to Florida Atlantic University. And here we are now with the district, and we have an issue that is huge. As Commissioner Woodward has mentioned, there was a study in Tallahassee done in 2022 called Solving Florida's Labor Shortage, The Hidden Solution. It reveals the current labor force participation rate in Florida for persons with disabilities, ages 16 to 64, is 40% gap between persons with disabilities and without disabilities. And at this moment, Florida has nearly 500,000 unfilled jobs and forecasts indicate continuing growth of new jobs between now and 2030. We hear chatter nationally on the conversations about diversity, equity, and inclusion, but we don't really include people with disabilities. It's a very small minute percentage that don't think that they should be included. And so it's always my job to let them know my chatter's coming around the town, around the town as well. So business, government, and community leaders all need to recognize the need for quality workers and a diverse workforce. Businesses and employers are beginning to recognize the value of hiring non-traditional sources of talent. Floridians with disabilities are a part of the workforce shortage solution and they do have amazing work ethics. And this report illustrates the disability workforce landscape in Florida and what is possible when employers realize the value of disability inclusive workforce. Archer Disability Foundation wants everyone to know in the next 10 years, 
it's imperative to close the labor force participation gap for Floridians with disabilities by at least 10%. That equals 300,000 new students will be transitioning into the workforce in the state of Florida with disabilities. That to me is something that cannot be covered up. Archer Disability Foundation asked the county commissioners, our uh, administrator, Dana Baker, and all of you left in the audience and possibly watching this on Channel 20, that you need to help increase this population in our labor force. The labor pool that you may have may consider a part-time person that's transitioning out, that can do something that you need done, anything, even have paperwork and the paper shredder, just little things to begin and then you teach them skills and then they develop more skills and before you know it, you have the most valuable employee that you have. <clears throat> now, I'd like to introduce a young man who graduated years ago as an ESE student in the school district who earned a GED because in those days they had special degrees. I as an advocate was too, like Pat, spent a lot of time um, being appointed and reappointed by governors to be a disability advocate in this state. And one of the things that I knew for sure is that my son was not gonna be stuck with a special degree. So we got to pass some of those laws. So may I introduce this young man who graduated not only from our school district, from Palm Beach State College and from Florida Atlantic University, and is now working two part-time jobs and continues to look for full-time work as a videographer, photographer, or anything in television production. Pat Robert Archer. Thank you for this time. I'm an example of a self-advocate appointed by two Florida governors, Charlie Chris in 2010, and reappointed by Florida Governor uh, Rick Scott in 2017. As a member of the Florida Development Disabilities Council, as a council member, we work to create public policy to strengthen laws of Floridians with developmental disabilities independent living skills, transportation accommodations, secondary education laws, employment and job skill building. People with disabilities can ultimately be tax paying citizens. I am a living proof using disability related resources in all levels of education in Palm Beach County and job skills development from business and government agencies. Persons with disabilities can be contributing tax-paying citizens to grow Florida's workforce. I worked for three decades to graduate with a bachelor's in multimedia studies at Florida Atlantic University. I am volunteer as a photographer and videographer at FAU Alumni and Archer Disability Foundation outreach events. I also work part-time at public supermarkets and part-time Excel and Technology delivering mail throughout the Boca Raton FAU campus. My dream is to have a career of my dreams and continue to see full-time employment with benefits and video production. Thank you for your time and please consider hiring people with special abilities to create an all-inclusive workplace. <coughs>